Welcome back folks, Western Welding Academy, Tyler Sassy here. Today, we're gonna to talk about T's, reducers, and 45's. In the last video, we talked about 90's and some of the takeoffs and how to put them on and keep them square. Today, we're gonna to talk about 45's first, and then we're gonna talk about reducers, and then we're gonna talk about T's. These are some of the tricks we've learned along the way to help us from uh, making mistakes when we're doing a layout and piping planning, all right? With that, let's get to it. This is a 45 degree fitting. This is a six inch. We've got a couple of four inch over here. This is a three inch long radius, a three R 45. The radius for this is just the same as a three R 90. And so some of the calculations that we're gonna show you on these two fittings are different than this thing, so you need to be aware of that. This is a long radius 45. These are standard radius 45s. To my knowledge, there's no such thing as a short radius 45, although I might have seen some welders try to make one at different times. All right, so what I've written on the board, this is 45 degree butt weld fitting, standard radius. The reason we're going over that is because that's the most common 45 that you're gonna see in the field, is a standard radius butt weld 45. There's thousands of different fittings out there, and one of the things that we're gonna do here at Western Welding Academy is we're gonna teach you about the most common. If you've got the basics, learn the takeoffs for the most common fittings, it's gonna be easier to assimilate that information to some more uncommon fittings. So, when calculating the takeoff, for a 45 butt weld standard radius fitting, you take the pipe size, and in this case, let's call it four inch pipe. Now, we take this four inch, we take four divided by two, so we cut that four in half, that's two. We cut it in half again, that's one, and we cut it in half again, that's a half an inch. These are all inch, right? Once you do that, you take the pipe size and you break it in half three times. So you've got four numbers there. You take the second number and the last number and you add these two together, okay? That's the takeoff for a 45 butt weld standard radius fitting, okay? Pipe size, half, half, half. Second number, fourth number, add them together. That's your takeoff. Okay, so two and a half inches is the takeoff for a four inch standard radius 45. Let's do that again. Let's go to an eight inch 45. We're gonna write down the pipe size. Eight inch pipe. We're gonna half it. We're gonna half it again. And we're gonna half it again, okay? We're gonna take the third number and the last number, and we're gonna add them together. That's gonna to be the takeoff for an eight inch, 45 degree fitting. So an eight inch 45 takes off five inches. And again, if this was your fitting, Remember, it's the center line of the pipe. It's from this dimension, from here to the end, right? This dimension, from here to here. And so from this dimension, from here to here. Okay, just to recap one of our previous videos, the takeoff on a 90, you're gonna have a center line. Okay? The, the takeoff of that 90 is from the face of the 90 to the center, and from the face of the 90 to the center. Now, when we do the same thing for a 45, it's, it's just the same. You got your center line here, and you got your center line here. 
and it's the intersecting line right here where the center line has a point of intersection change. That's the takeoff from the face of the 45 to the center of the intersection of the PI and from the face of the 45 this way to the center of the intersecting center lines. It is exactly the same as taking off for a 90. It's just not a full 90 degree bend. It's a 45 degree bend. Another common thing that I hear a lot of people doing, they ask me, can't I just take a, the takeoff for a, a 90 and just cut that in half and that'll be my takeoff for the 45 as long as the pipe sizes are the same? It don't work. That's why you need to understand how to take, do the takeoff for a 90 and understand how to do the takeoff for a 45. 